Hey folks, this is Jake Davis, and today I'd like to bring you, if you'd allow me, my retrospective, my retro review for Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, released in 2006, directed by Adam McKay, starring Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, Leslie Bibb, uh, Amy Adams, Sasha Baron Cohen, Michael Clark Duncan, Molly Shannon, Gary Cole, Jane Lynch, Rob Riggle, Andy Dick, <laughs> uh, there's uh, Jack McBrayer. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of people in this movie. Uh, the uh, the film kicks off with uh, a quote. Uh, America is about speed. Hot, nasty, badass speed from Eleanor Roosevelt. Now, I did as much... I did research, because, I mean, it would have... It made me so happy to find out that quote is real, <laughs> but it's not. So, uh, the film kicks off with that quote, and you see a man just driving like crazy, and finally you see that his wife is in labor in the back seat, and he goes right past the hospital, hits the brakes, baby pops right out. Uh, just give you an idea that you're in for a, a wild cartoon movie here. <laughs> uh, we jump ahead. The little boy is in school. Doesn't know his daddy. Show and tell. Daddy pops back up. Just whoops, walks in. Hey, son, how you doing? How's it been? Nine years? How about that? And uh, his daddy is Ricky is uh, Reese Bobby, who is pure Alabama wild man. Of course, in the stories, of course, about our hero, Ricky Bobby, as the title would suggest. Um, and he tells me, you know, he gets kicked out of show and tell, total jackass of a guy, and uh, tells the boy, if you ain't first, you're last. And this is Ricky Bobby's motto he lives by for the rest of his life, because when we meet up with him, we see him just, like, literally just volunteering to fill an empty car at the NASCAR racetrack, winning the race, and getting a job offer to join the team. Uh, teams called Denton Racing. Racing, and you see a montage goes by. Years go by, and he becomes like the biggest guy in the sport. He is the fucking champion, uh, and he is just uh, not poor white trash, but he's a rich white trash. Uh, just everything's gaudy and uh, material, and there's real no uh, there's no substance to his life. His wife doesn't give a shit about him, really. His kids really don't give a shit about him. And his, you know, his his friend, a childhood friend played by John C. Riley, Cal Naughton Jr., is the only real friend he has. Uh, around this time, uh, an, a Formula One racer named... Uh, oh, hell, I forgot his name already. Well, Borat. Sasha Baron Cohen comes, and he's a new racer. And uh, he gets into uh, a thing with him at a bar, <laughs> argument over crepes, <laughs> and, and he breaks Ricky Bobby's heart. Uh, and it turns out the Frenchman is an amazing racer. He's very, very fast, very, very talented, and uh, he's like the, the future of the sport, you know, top rivalry. And he's here in America because he wants to race Ricky Bobby. He wants to race the best in the world. Uh, so he's like, he's breaking Bobby's uh, uh, track record, but Bobby's in a sling. I mean, in a cast. So, uh, cuts off the cast, decides to, uh, you know, against Dr. orders, obviously, and decides to race anyway. Um, terrible, terrible car accident, which causes, a uh, uh, causes Bobby to be traumatized. Uh, famous, famous scene of the movie of Ricky Bobby running down the track and just his helmet and his underwear screaming, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs> yeah. So it's at this point where everything falls apart. Um, uh, he's clearly, uh, traumatized. Oh, and there's this long period where he's in this hospital. First, like, in a pseudo-coma that he's kind of faking. And then he's kind of faking that he can't walk. He's psychosomatic, which does not mean he can start fire with stalks. <laughs> but, uh, he finally, um, uh, he finally it all falls out for him. Uh, uh, he gets fired from the team, loses his car, his wife leaves him, starts banging his best friend, who's, who's legitimately too stupid to realize fucking your best friend's wife is bad. <laughs> and, of course, you know, she takes all his money, all his house, his, his livelihood, but leaves him with the kids, you know, mothers. <laughs> Loving mother.
So he goes back to uh, his mama's house and he becomes a pizza boy. And he's just miserable and settling into uh, things. It's, I mean, he's such a shitty driver now that he has to deliver uh, the pizzas on a bicycle. <laughs> uh, eventually he runs, his dad seeks him out. Reese Bobby comes back in the story and, you know, he wants to help his boy be a man again. Get your balls back. And, uh, you know, it helps him, fight, you know, drive with fear. Mainly with driving with a cougar and driving blindfolded, one bad, bad idea after the other. So eventually, Ricky Bobby uh, gets his balls back, and uh, at first isn't gonna go for it. the race. You know, he's, he's still gonna live his tranquil life, but it's this is how it is. Uh, has an argument with his dad. Dad can't handle being a family man. He storms off again. You know, he's a messed up guy. Uh, he runs into his. Uh, at a bar, he's just depressed again, and he runs into his uh, former secretary assistant, Amy Adams, where she reveals that she's always respected him, she's always cared for him, all this kind of stuff, and, you know, they hook up, and she inspires him to uh, to finally race again. <clears throat> so we get to the climax of the film of, uh, where, you know, those three main guys, we got Cal, Bobby, and, uh, was it Jean... It's like, you know, it's French. I call him Jean Gerard, but, you know, it's like 50% chances that the fucker's name is Jean Gerard anyway. He's French. Anyhow, uh, we get to the final race, and I always kind of like to tell, you know, it's just a race. There's a trophy, but it's not like, you know, the, 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 the big cup at the end of the season kind of thing that usually is in sports movies. Uh, and it's just, you know, the, the, the stake is Bobby wanting to, you know, redeeming himself. Proving to himself that it's not just about winning, it's about doing your best and all this kind of shit. And making the people who care about you proud of you. And all this. And, uh, he settles things with Cal, uh, and a uh, huge, huge car wreck, uh, in the race. That guy take out all the other cars and it's down to just, uh, Gerard and, uh, Ricky Bobby. Both their cars flip. I mean, all the cars are totaled like nobody can finish the race. <coughs> Ricky Bobby... Famous scene, Ricky and Gerard get out of their cars and then foot race to the finish line. Shake hands, have respect, and actually kiss. <laughs> out of respect. <laughs> out of sportsman, sportsman kiss. Why not? Uh, you know, the crowd cheers and everything. And Cal wins because he was, you know, in the lead and wasn't disqualified for getting out of his car. And the movie ends with a nice... A nice touching ending, you know, Ricky Bobby is going to be, uh, is got, I mean, he's, he's got everything he had, but he's got a better version of it now. He has a stronger family, and a better career, and a better outlook on life. Uh, Cal is unfortunately still with the, the crazy blonde, uh, but, you know, at least he got a lady. And, uh, the Frenchman is probably most likely going to retire and raise, raise dogs with his husband. Uh, okay. Now that's Talladega Nights. Um, first of all, I want to say that I was, uh, I did not see this film for maybe two or three years after it came out. Uh, I wasn't, I mean, it wasn't like I disliked Will Ferrell. I liked him on SNL and everything. Uh, uh, there's a, I liked him in The, the Ladies' Man. I thought he was kind of out of place in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I mean, in this wild, R-rated world of the view skew, he just felt like a sketch guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, when uh, uh, Elf and Anchorman came out, I just wasn't really on board with the, the, the leading man experiment of Will Ferrell. I just didn't care. Uh, so Talladega Nights comes out, and still, I'm not seeing these movies, right? And eventually ended up watching Talladega Nights with, I think it was my sister. I was, she was watching it, just hanging out over at her place with her kids. And I loved it. I thought it was hysterical. I thought uh, uh, Will Ferrell was brilliant in it. I thought it was an amazing comedic performance. Uh, I could not say enough uh, uh, good things about him. Where, yeah, sure, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, John C. Riley, Leslie Bibb, and especially Gary Cole are just hysterical. Derek on this movie. It's Will Ferrell's movie. I mean, nobody steals this movie from him. He's amazing in the part. He's great. Character development. He's in the character while he's still trying to be funny. I mean, you see a guy going for laughs and playing for the laughs and everything, but he's still the guy kind of thing. You know, I liked that. Um, a great Alabama accent. There's good Alabama accents all through this film. Uh, 
good music in this movie. And like I said, with the Feral Experiment, this kind of changed my mind. I went back and watched some more Will Feral movies. I went back, back and watched Anchorman and Elf and Old School. And, uh, well, this isn't my favorite Will Ferrell movie. It was actually the follow-up he did to this. Uh, Riley and McKay's follow-up was uh, Step Brothers a few years later. Uh, now, I think Step Brothers is a brilliant movie, a, a, a damn near masterpiece of a comedy. Uh, and I would probably do a retro review for it soon, but I decided to do this instead because this is the more popular movie. It was the biggest hit. And I guess Step Brothers isn't really considered a very good movie, even though it, I absolutely love it. I think it's a classic. As is Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights is an American comedy classic. It was the best comedies uh, of that year, and it was part of that great uh, comedy renaissance in the mid-2000s that I say started with uh, Wedding Crashers. Um, it's a hell of a good movie, man. For It's a long comedy. It's an expensive comedy, which is both uh, unique, but it's uh, rewarding. It's a very good movie with good characters and a good story, a good plot. Things move. Uh, you don't really feel like you're stuck in one scene or with one situation for too long. Uh, yeah, Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, 2006, is a comedy classic. And if you've never seen that, I totally recommend you see it. Uh, it it's so quotable. I mean, just being quotable is like one of the best things you ask for a comedy. Uh, one of my favorite lines of the movie is, In the name of the late, great Colonel Sanders, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> I just, I love this movie. It's a terrific movie. It's a wonderful movie. It's a delightful movie. And uh, uh, was a big part of Amy Adams' breakout, too. So, uh, yeah, Talladega Nights, the Ballad of Ricky Bobby, classic. Uh, loved it. Uh, I'm probably going to, I'll probably, I've seen it many times over the years, probably see it many more times in the years to come. Um, hope you all enjoyed this retro review. Hope you liked the rest of my videos. Like, share, subscribe, get involved. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.